Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Reborn. I just had an exam, and I passed it. So, uh, yeah, that's where I've been for the past week, but we've passed it. We've done it. We did good. We got 73%. The pass mark was 70, which is stupidly high, if you ask me. I'm a little biased. But, um, yeah, now we can play Pokemon Reborn again. Episode 19, for that matter. I'm going to show you what I've been doing in the meantime. Ooh. Okay, you get a nice little infographic. I'm not sure if that was available before. I know there were two different ways you could open the game, but now there's only one. But uh, yeah, as you can see below, there's a couple new people in the team switched up a little bit from when we did the gym. So let me just show you real quick. We've got Chatter, who was the uh, Rolts that we got in the Corrupted Pokeball. We've got Gareth, Talonflame, Stefan, Steve, and Eevee, all people you've seen before. I have switched up the PC box. Oh! Okay, this is very different. Okay, I haven't even stepped inside yet. I was using the old game to uh, EV train and everything, because downloading it and moving it across, I didn't want to do while I was waiting for my exam. But we now have a box full of everyone that I have managed to EV train up. So, as you can see, there's some familiar faces. There's some new ones, like Blastoise. And Alakazam. Actually, Alakazam we evolved up before, but he's now fully EV trained as well. So we have Swampert, who's Kipper. Uh, who else? We got Barry, we got Lucario. A little Ninetales. We have a Drillba, who hopefully will be very useful at some point. Um, I EV trained him. And yeah, just kind of caught him, I think. At level 60 or 61. I probably caught him at level 61. Just did a little bit of EV training. Um, we caught a Bishop that was shiny. So, you know, <laughs> of course I was going to EV train that up. I love Bishop. Uh, Emperor we've got, Autumn we've got, Lilligant and Noi, who are all part of the Hardy gym, as well as Onyx. Geary we decided to level up because we tend to use the gear field a lot when we fight Team Meteor. So, going to go with that. Blastoise and Kipper could be very useful in uh, the Dragon Gym that's coming up. I was watching some people and Waterium Z completely destroys the Dragon Field. So yeah, we're probably going to go with that sort of vibe as a as a prelude. But right now, I think, oh god, the controls are different as well. It was Z for A and X for B. And now it's X for B still and C is now a so it's very confusing for me <laughs> my force of habit is uh getting the best of me but now what we have to do i think we have to go back to oh my god these controls are getting the best of me already uh we will fly and we don't go to a gate where do we go to a gate no we need to go up to calcinin so let's just speed up that's all good Oh, I feel like we're extra fast now. That might just be me. Oh well. But, there's a few extra peoples. Everyone seems to be here. Barrier's still up. Of course it is. Let's see what Hardy has to say. Hello. Yo. I don't know what our next move is going to be, but my gut says it's going to be big. You itching to kick Team Meter down as much as I am, mate? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. They ain't gonna see a single thing coming. Let's stick let's stick it to Meteor once and for all. Hell yeah. It is not a risk to unhand me, woman. As I've already said, I will follow you voluntarily. No chances. Safira, please. He's not a bad person. Oh, so that's why he's been with Team Meteor all this time. You catch? Oh, you, catch. Nice catch. <laughs> what, you meant me? Doesn't matter. You, however. You and I have business. Enough already. You know rough handling? A compliant captive is a solid way to jeopardize that compliance. It's not the only thing I'll jeopardize if you don't start talking. I've been talking. You haven't been listening. <laughs> I didn't like what you had to say. 
You didn't like me saying I've left the meteor behind? I didn't believe you. If you won't believe me anyway, then there's no point in us talking. The right circumstances can breed honesty. You'll tell us the truth, or your comrade's injuries will be on your hands. Firstly, no. <laughs> no matter what you say, I'm not responsible for what you choose to do to him. Secondly, if you listen to what both your sister and I have already explained to you, you'd know that there's that he's no longer my comrade, frankly. And not that any of this is necessary. You'd have better luck forcing answers out of me by threatening your sister instead. Safira! Whoa there. You don't have to hit the guy. Don't you dare presume that I would ever do anything to hurt my sisters. You sure don't seem to think twice about anyone else. I'm not surprised to learn that loyalty is a foreign concept to you. And I, discretion to you. Enough! God, she's slapping a lot. Move! We're not done yet. Yes, you are. Laura, please move. I will not. Just what did he do to earn your grace? I do not believe that respect and mercy are things that need to be earned. Respect and mercy won't keep you safe from our enemies. Then, I would rather be in danger. You've always been innocent. But I was always hoping that innocence wouldn't fall into naivety. With all due respect and appreciation, sister, in my opinion, it is more naive to think that people are not worth believing in. Next, you'll tell me we should all hold hands and sing hymns with Sigmund fucking Connell. Not everybody is like him, and I am sure that in some misguided way, he also thinks that what he does is for the best of others. Perhaps he, too, can still change. How can you say that? You, of all people, know that he's what we've been through. Now you want to lap sympathy on him? After I... Sephira. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't even think about touching me. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Oi, lady, you good? Sephira. It is just me, okay? You're safe. The doctor isn't here. It's going to be okay. Just breathe for now. Hmm. So, uh, you mind explaining what just happened? I'm sorry. I'm afraid it isn't my place to say something like that. But, if it is like the past has been, she may need some time to collect herself. Back then, there were times where she was unable to even speak at all afterwards for quite some while. Please forgive me if I don't consider that a loss in the immediate moment. I apologize for how she was treating you. She is rather protective of Charlotte and I, you see. I saw. <laughs> I think we all knew that one lass. For now, I will step aside and make sure she's all right. Okay, so what's happening with Victoria, who's still passed out on the floor? Is anyone going to check on that? Awkward. Rather. Hey, even Lumi. <clears throat> Zero? Um, why? Why is Zero here? Oh, I thought it was Victoria from the back. I guess her hair is a bit greyer, isn't it? Is he okay? Don't worry. It's just sleep powder. Oh. I couldn't let him make it back. I couldn't let him make it back to Labrador. Where where have you two been anyway? We took the lull as an opportunity to catch up on some much needed training. Now that each of us may have our own teams again. We don't want to be dead weight after all. And you, you're here too. Do you really intend to turn tail and do meteor? Yes. Not that anyone has seemed to believe me about it. Except Laura, somehow. So, if you won't trust that I'm here for the greater good, then let's just say I'm here for her. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I'll make things right and support her however I'm able to. It's something I frankly should have started going doing a long time ago. I believe you. 
I don't know what to do with that, but I'll take it. Thanks. At any rate, it's not as if whether or not you are trusted will impact your course, correct? Correct? And though I would appreciate if I were not literally dragged along by the ear in the meantime, trust must be earned through merit. To that end, I have an offer. The barrier. Correct again. What do you mean? What's the offer? As I explained to some others previously, only authorized personnel may pass through that barrier. Zero and I are both authorized. So I will bring him to the city, claiming to have rescued him from you all as enemies of Team Meteor. This can be my justification for coming through the Kalsinin side. Then I will cut the Pulse Mime's power supply, lowering the barrier for all of you to enter and finish off Demetria once and for all. It's true that we will need the help of someone trusted by Team Meteor if you want to get into Labrador. There is no other way, and right now, we don't have another willing subject. I don't think Zero would do it either. Right, he sees Team Meteor as the only place he can turn to. Then, it must be done before he wakes up. Uh, no, mate. This is kind of fishy, if you ask me. What's to say you don't just take off once you're in there and turn against us again? This would be a clever way for you to get out of your enemy's hands. I was thinking that. I was thinking that. A fair concern. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have a way to make satisfactory guarantees. But you will see whether or not I've stayed true to my word when the barrier lowers. And... By then, it'd already be too late for us to regret it, huh? An alternative may not present itself. What do you think, Killian? Should we trust this guy? I want to say no. But I also don't want to have to fight him to figure out, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna say yes. If you say so. Alright, I'll go with it. It may just be the quickest way to save Aya after all. I thank you for offering me the chance to prove my allegiance. I guess that works for Zero too. He'd prefer to be on that side, right? It feels strange to have to wonder. What are you looking at? What are you looking at me like that for? Do... Do you miss how things were? I don't know. I do. I don't want things to go back to how they were, but I miss it. Oh, hey Cal. I miss him. Does that make sense? I don't think it does. It makes no sense whatsoever. I fully understand. Oh, this is where everyone was. Hey, Cal. Am um, I interrupting something? I can hardly tell myself, mate. <laughs> oh, it's Cal. When did you turn your hair blue? Uh, do I know you? Evelyn Sejaya. This is Lumi. We only spoke in passing. And only under that one's face. Huh? Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> but, uh, have any of you seen Shelly around? Oh, no, not Shelly. Heather had a message for her. She and most of the others went down to the city to put the slammer on some of the meteors they caught in a gate. Bad day to be a meteor. Might be the last day to be a meteor. Hell yeah. I like the sound of that. Aha! I guess most of us here have been on the other side at some point, huh? And yet, I don't think I've seen any of you before. Cal? Oh, um, hi. Been a while. Not long enough, if you ask me. What, uh, brings you here? Oh, you know, I just thought I'd get out from behind the desk for once. Maybe check up on how things were going here while I take a break from the literal mountains of paperwork and responsibilities building up. Not only from having to deal with everything going on in Reborn City, but also from the very slight, tiny, minuscule, teensy, wincy issue of having had to have taken charge of all of the Apophil Academy after you got Kiki killed. I'm aware there is no way I can atone for what happened there. Yeah, there isn't. Did I miss something? Let's assume so and not get in the way of it. I wasn't going to let Apophil go, 
Oh, you weren't? Oh, well, that totally explains you betraying us all and setting up the pulse that was going to burn it all to a crisp. So that explains what happened to Kiki's Medicham. So that's why you stopped your meteor on Pyrus Mountain and she's still alive today. Oh wait, I sabotaged the pulse. It wouldn't have done anything but overheat. Camera up used overheat, how convenient. And you really think I'm going to believe something as convenient as that? It's true. Who even are you? I created the pulse. Oh. You did, did you? <laughs> well, today seemed to have been a great day to come up here after all. I get to solve not one, but two problems. I will accept any punishment you deem fit to apply to me. Eve? But before you do, please be advised that I have already escaped Team Meteor. I have nothing to gain by defending this individual. Yet, I personally inspected the damage to the pulse camera up system after the incident there. Although it was clear that the machine had been targeted by a fire type attack, there was no significant damage to it from that. However, the coolant system had been completely drained and removed. The machine could have powered on, but it would have overheated and shut down long before producing enough energy to resonate with camera up. Further, there was no sign of the camera up itself around the scene after the incident. It's right here. Back then, I used my attack to covertly withdraw the Pokemon from the scene and have since recovered it back to health. But that was just a show. I had discarded the coolant system long beforehand. The pulse would have failed regardless, but then you all got involved and Kiki was hurt. I had to pretend to destroy it myself in order to convince Solaris to drop the operation and retreat before anything else happened. That's convenient. And just how do you explain what happened to a Medicham then? You still let that poor thing be burnt to a crisp. Actually... Oh! You're not going to say that's the same Medicham. It sank right into the lava. There's no way it could have survived that. There was another advantage I had discovered when I emptied the pulse coolant into the volcano. Although it didn't visibly impact the surface, the temperature of the lava was lowered significantly. But then it would have turned to rock. Hmm... A human might have been in trouble. But for Pokémon that are used to taking flamethrowers in the heat of battle, I was able to rescue it with my Pokémon after you chased me off. That... kind of makes sense. And you didn't think to bring this... to bring any of this up before? Killian knew some of it. But you said you didn't want to speak to me. I intended to respect your wishes for as long as you needed. Hmm. I need to be alone for now. You just got here. <laughs> Awkward. Aye. <laughs> Perhaps now would not be the best time to stage a rage on Labradora after all. You're planning to what? We'd been mulling over the possibility of Bennett here giving the barrier the slip and sticking it to Team Meteor once and for finally all. I see. Blake is back there. But more importantly, Solaris. Victoria may want nothing to do with me, or she may accept my defense. But I suspect she will bring her full fury down on him, no matter what. I'll join you then. Someone has to look out for her. Then we should wait just a bit, right? Until everyone's ready. Our time is limited until Zero wakes up. All right then, do what you need to and we'll meet back here with Bennett. For the sake of not rousing suspicion, I'll just wait here. Talk to me whenever you want me to begin. Okily dokily. Right, I don't know what's gonna happen. And, uh, is this the team I wanna bring? I don't know. We do need to get some levels. As you can see, Chatter is level 91. We can get up to level 95. Um, and I kinda just wanna get this episode out, so, I might end this episode here. It's been a week since we've been able to, uh, you know, do an episode with my exam and everything. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of like just wanting to get this out. So <laughs> I am going to end this episode here. It's a bit of a short one, and I apologize for that.
But as soon as we get into this, all of a sudden it's an hour episode and you guys aren't going to get it for another couple of days. So this is a nice short sweet one. I'll record it immediately after I finish the recording on this one uh, so that I can kind of do back to back days uploading so that you'll have two videos on the comeback. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to hit save. Oh my God, these controls. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I guess we can talk to a couple people and we can get into the action of episode 19. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do happen to be new to the channel, you've got a load of episodes to catch up on. So, you know, maybe check them out, see the trials and tribulations and the absolute suffering that we have had in the series so far to get to this point and uh, stay tuned for the next episodes. Please like, subscribe, have a good one. Take care and peace.